I am Doug Tallamy, professor at the University of Delaware, Department of Entomology and Wildlife Ecology. I am entering my 41st year, so I've been around for a while. But I'm an entomologist. You know, E.O. Wilson, way back in 1987, mm -hmm. wrote a paper called The Little Things That Run the World. And the question he asked is, what would happen if insects disappeared? Well, a lot of things would happen. We would lose most of our flowering plants because we would have lost the pollinators that, that pollinate those plants. And the loss of the flowering plants would so drastically disrupt energy flow through our ecosystems that the animals that depend on the food webs produced by those ecosystems would also disappear. So we can't lose the flowering plants. And you don't have flowering plants unless you have the pollinators that allow them to, to reproduce. So pollinators are really important. And you know, people get that. Uh, they're upset about the loss of the honeybee or reductions. Most of them don't realize we have 4,000 species of native bees, and they're also declining, uh, and that they're actually doing most of the pollination of most of the plants that are, that are out there. They're pollinating 80% of all plants and 90% of all flowering plants. If we lost our pollinators, we'd lose 80 to 90% of the plants on the planet, and that is not an option. So we need pollinators. Those flowering plants capture the energy from the sun and lock it up in their tissues as food. And that's what supports all the animals that are out there. Only if that energy goes from the plant to the animal. So if nothing eats that plant, if it's locked up in the plant, it's, locked, it's captured energy, but it's not doing anything with it. So most vertebrates do not eat plants directly. They eat invertebrates that ate the plants, and most of those invertebrates are insects, and most of those insects are caterpillars. So caterpillars are transferring more energy from plants, more of the sun's energy from plants to other animals than any other type of plant eater, which makes it simple. You can look at the health of a, an ecosystem by knowing how healthy your caterpillar populations are, how many species are there, and how, how many numbers are there. So I wanted to make sure it wasn't a doom and gloom book, yeah. and then you close the book and shoot yourself. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I was saying, you, you can fix this, yeah. uh, particularly if you have gardening skills. Right, yeah. Not that you need gardening skills to plant an oak tree. But, yeah. <laughs> but, but you can, you know, there is a solution here. This is the, it, it's nature's best hope. I mean, it is not time to give up.